Hello and welcome. Um, my name is Fritz uh, Chen Yushu. I am a graduate from Cyprus International University. I have a second master's in mechanical engineering and now in engineering management. I am the developer of this application called the CIU Capstones Grouper, which is an application being used in Cyprus International University by undergraduate students to select their projects, themes, or topics. So this particular problem, let me give you a background of the problem, is a problem that the school has had since its creation. And for 22 years now, they have not been able to come up with a solution to solve this problem, such that when it is time for students to select their project groups of teams, they have to come to the office one by one to select. And it gives the office about two weeks of headache and sleepless nights. It is actually a period of nightmare for them. So um, with the background of this problem, we they have been trying to propose this to many different students and supervisors or teachers who have actually been turning down the offer to take up on this project. So when you proposed this to me and I accepted, it was some sort of funny to them. So in this documentary, I'm going to tell about the features of this application, how it works. I'm going to tell you about the development the different uh, processes that's gone through. I'm going to talk about the, uh, the, the version that runs on the computer, which I developed, which was perfect, and the version which runs online, because I was not satisfied with the one that runs on the computer. So I went extra miles to make something that actually runs online. I would like to thank especially Dr. Skemal Toza, Dr. Elif, Dr. Rana Hoja, and instructor Nidai Kodao, who were actually there to motivate me to take up this, this uh, topic and who believed in me. I thank them so much. And these people, I see them as a treasure of Cyprus International University. So once more, I am a graduate and my wife just graduated too. And uh, we have a daughter equally here in Cyprus. And I am very sure that by the time I finish this recording or not, far from now, we will no more be on this island. So to contact me, you can go to my website where I have HTML developments and the blogger to build a blog of your own and so on. The website is pretty good though we are still adding features, but it's wonderful. So you can contact me on mail and uh, using zrfritz24iau.com. That is drfritz24iau.com. Or you call me either on, get me either on WhatsApp or direct call using the numbers on screen. That is my name at the bottom of the screen, and that is my student number. But as bad as it is, I am going to be leaving the island, perhaps maybe without taking my certificate because of issue of tuition and fees, because I did not receive any support for this project, not as if I was expecting it, but I felt very bad with the limitations and difficulty that I encountered. So I'm going to tell you about the features of this application and the codes, the developments, and everything about this application. In my subsequent projects, which I'm working on now, um, we are working on how to write a thesis in three days to three weeks. You can write a thesis or dissertation in three days. And if you go to our website, you see videos on how to do a thesis in no time. Equally, you have a project on how to do your thesis without actually doing the thesis. That is our project that is upcoming now. How to do a dissertation without actually doing the dissertation. You can contact me about the details of this, or you can visit this our website and you'll get more information about that. Equally, to get to me, if you don't get through these platforms, you can get to gcematpanel.blogspot.com. That is a blog that I actually run because I'm a teacher by profession. gcematpanel.blogspot.com. So once more, I invite you to stay tuned and whenever you're watching this video to subscribe because there'll be a lot in stock for you. I'm equally going to tell you what application was used in developing this program that you can see on the screen. It does not show that it's an application that was used or something that is common that you know, but you'll find out in course of this video or this documentary. I'm going to take my time to present this documentary. I'm not going to be in a rush so that I give the details. But note, this first part deals with the, the part of the application that runs on the desktop. My supervisors were, 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 were happy they were satisfied, but I was not satisfied with the desktop version. I needed to go online. And I was motivated by Dr. Kemal Toza, who made me to stretch beyond my limits. And I finally had to exceed my own expectations to meet the expectations that I expected. So 
um, as we are going through this uh, program, I'm going to give you the details. Let's start with the features. So this application has the following features. For the updated version, we have more features like leaving comments and complaints and to contact direct. That one is live and online. So equally, uh, from the start, students have to come to the office one by one to select their project topic. And this will give the office about two weeks or even more of sleepless night, nightmare and headache. But with the coming of this application, they have to take just about a day to carry out the same projects. And initially, students were compelled to come to the office to select maybe as two in two or threes or come one at a time. But with this application, all you just need is a phone or a computer and internet connection. With these two, you can select a project topic in any part of the world. You don't need to come to school. So this gives room for students to go for holidays, enjoy their holidays, and they can still select their project wherever they find themselves. So in course of this presentation, the data we have used here, because I do not have the permission of the students to display their names, their names or their students' numbers live, what we have done is that I've replaced those names by some other funny names. And equally, since it's school data, I don't have the permission of the school to do this online, but I was motivated to present this work to other people as the work is being published too as well, so that they can see what we, are, we can do. Uh, throughout my search, I could not find something that could really help me. I saw some sort of different, different things, so I came up with this, my idea to develop this program. Currently, I'm a student. I just graduated and I have no job. I am looking for anything. I am good in research. I'm a teacher by profession, which I equally left because of crisis and all of those other things, though I'm working online. I, and I equally do research analysis and all of those things. Anything thesis and all of that. As long as you're going to pay where I'm in, because I don't do free work. Work is not free. So the first part is the welcome screen. We have the welcome screen, as you can see already. Then we have the optimization pane or panel. The welcome screen can be seen by the students and the office at the same time, but the optimization can be seen by the office. And this optimization helps the office in doing some sort of estimates for these projects to estimate or some sort of optimization for the project uh, resources. Then you call you have the list. With the list, we have the list uh, of the students we have the list of projects and we have the list of supervisors. All of these are compiled into one called the list, as you can see. And then another feature of this application is uh, the metrics itself. It's from this metrics that the students have to select and select, they just have to enter their student ID or student number. And then the application now goes to check into the database. If this name you have entered actually is on the list, though if your name is not on the list, you cannot select. It checks if you're on the list. And then secondly, it checks if your department matches the department that is for that particular project. Because if it does not match, then it is going to remove your name. And then you have to select another project and it inform you that you are not able or you are not fit, you are not allowed to select this project. It does not meet the constraints. And when you select, it indicates that a seat is selected and it shows the number of students who are selected and so on. Like you can see here, 54 seats have been selected already out of 60, there are 60. And here, equally, this summary here gives us the departments, the number of that have selected from each department. So this is just a rundown of the program. And the last part here is about the status. So whenever somebody has selected a project, this red bar changes to a green bar and shows one. When that status is being displayed, it means you have selected that project. Now, for this application equally, when a student logs in, the students can see only the welcome screen, this welcome screen and the information there and the selection metrics. And from the welcome screen, the student can do, go directly to the metrics by clicking on select projects. It takes the students directly there and the students can select a project. And equally, from here, the students can go back home, go back to the home page just by clicking there, it takes you back to the home page. Now let's go in details with each of the various uh, features that are for this application. So I'll start with the bottom left. We have the departments that are available. For the updated version, which is online, we have two or three more departments that we added. And if departments are being added 
it will automatically be displayed through here as well. At the end of the application, I'll show you what, uh, what applications were used to develop this and how the process was done in detail, step by step. So stay tuned to the end of this documentary because I'm going to be saying a lot. I would really like to thank my wife who just graduated this uh, semester that is just ending. I'm recording today. The 18th of July, she graduated the semester that just uh, ended. Iris Asong, who is also a student from Cyprus International University from Healthcare Organizations Management, who was actually there as I was doing the work all through. She was always there, you no know, preparing the meals and all of that. As well as my newborn baby, she's just two months, Lina Luli, uh, Luna Lily, who is always waking me up at night. Uh, to do one or two things. Sometimes, you know, you get tired too much and then you sleep and you just you get the sound. Yeah, you have to get up. Means time for you to do some work. I'd also like to forget my mom who actually did so much in sending me to study abroad. And my dad, though is of late. So my mom, Changbi Esther from Cameroon and my father, Fobugwe Christopher, who is of late. I really thank this post so much for their uh, meaningful contributions in my life and my teachers, uh, Emmanuel Yibe Tsubo and Scholastica uh, somewhere. So here we have the departments that are available. Each of the departments has a code, its full name, a number of students in that department. So here BAO stands for BAO Engineering, CMP is for Computer Engineering, and this application reads based on the codes that are in the program. So if it has to do anything with BAO, with BAO Engineering, it is using that BIO. That's the code it recognizes. Then equal this application, when the student logs in, you can see each uh, department has its color and its code. So like for Bao here, we have just one seat that is left for which department for Bao Engineering. And then for computer engineering, we have four seats that are left. So it is telling the students who log in here, number of seats that are left. It also gives an admin a guide or the supervisors a guide. <laughs> which means at the end, if a student has not selected, then we will know from which department a student has not selected. And when we know that department, we can now come to status here and check. Any bar that is red means a student has not selected. So that is how it, this part functions. Then equally, we have the number of seats. Here, the application automatically counts the number of students and writes it here. Here, there are 60 students currently. And with these 60, whenever a student selects, this number reduces by one and so on until we move down to zero seats left. So there are 54 seats left out of 60, which means six students have selected. And we can know from which departments these students have selected by going to the metrics here. So you can see that one student selected from IT, three from mechanical and three from, and two from MIS, a total of six. So that's why we have now 54 seats left because six have selected and we know the departments. So back to the welcome page. Here equally students can check to know if his or her name is on the list. Like here, this 2196605 is on the list. Let me just enter any other number, a probable number. For example, 20, 24, 15, 10. Enter. So you can see that this is not on the list. So sometimes if a student has a problem, the student can first of all verify to see where the problem is before contacting the administrator. So from here, I can say my name is not on the list. So I can now write to the office. With the updated version, you can write the administrator, the admin online to complain that their name is not on the list and they'll see what they can do. Equally here, it shows us the, uh, the project completion rate. Like for this current project, the completion is 10%. So it's 10% complete. And with this 10% complete, uh, what do we see? Yeah, since it's 10% complete, we can see that six students have selected out of six, that is 10%. So the completion rate, so when we have a total of 60 students have selected, the completion rate will now show 100%. Equally, the application, we have this uh, CI, we created the CCG, where CCG is the CI Capstones Grouper. That's the name I gave it. Then equally here on the right now, here, the inside right, we have the date of today. The date of each day is being displayed there. Like today is the 18th of July, 2022. And here we have the display at 4.39 p.m. Then another thing that we equal is extreme rotation. You can define take about the purpose of record. 
parents had to from the first of second of July to the project. No, it's three days a week. I've just one as I said explanation purpose. And from this, the program automatically calculates the number of days left to students to select a project and this year. Like here, the admin has given day of July and today. So how many days are left? if I add the to let's say uh just at the time what happened how much time is so if they change the oh how many times left <clears throat> exceeds the number but as, as you can know more of an application. So here, you give you log in, in the guide. For example, here, and only one project login. I like to select. I'm going to explain this C2. Do not select a full. No, this is the project. So don't waste your time. It's just guide. So login issues. You check if your name is on the list, as I explained before. You have to check if your name. If your name is, contact the admin. The link on do. Very careful to select the project. One you can, but this current one you cannot undo. So one careful to select the project. If you have password issues, it's below to complain. Here you are cool. You can clear the box on. So the page where they select, and then is now move to select. So you can now go. So this page, 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 and it gives you information of seats that are. So just uh, if everybody has selected, if you have no. Seats left, so that everybody has selected. And then the first feature here is you have the uh, number. Uh, so the how many sets of this project? Are the students that 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 okay? Bar appears as that all. Is it active with this? See, are you capsule? Which place has left? Is pink. Am I supposed to select? What you need to here? Ah, students. Oh, he can't. We have. Is it by equally check? You can equally check. Um, you can equally check if your name was on the list or whatever. Like here, let me check with this one. We have 22, uh, let me take 21, 0, 4, 15, 12. Check so you can see not found. So this person is not found on this list, not found. If I enter a number that is found here, it's going to give me the details. So you may come and say that you have issues and so on, and then I ask for your. Students number you give me that I can check. So for example, 2190-2605 is my student's number. If I enter it, it shows all of my information there. So uh, this is it. And we have all the projects. Can scroll down and you see these are the projects. They have uh, some have been entered, some have not been entered. And this bar on the right actually gives us the statistics about all of the stuff. All right, and now. We have discussed about these other parts. Now, these are the constraints of the projects. 
we have they, they require five students as you can see here three mechanical and two mis the next you don't want any person or that person here so with this we still have four students left who have not selected so when this one now goes to zero this yellow bar of full that the project is full will appear so this is this part here we can go back home from here or we can save and quit so let's look at optimize or list first of all so this list uh, tab displays the students. So this is what they will enter because all the other tabs or all the other features work, on, work with information that's been entered here. These are the database that stores the students' names, numbers, 